All right, good morning. So we're back at the model again uh, this morning. Gonna do a Rico tour this morning uh, with the Theta X. Uh, I also have a plate weight with me because it's a little bit breezy outside. So this will actually just give us a little bit of insurance uh, to keep the monopod from tipping over should the breeze catch it. So the thing I like about this high footage is that it has this quick release at the foot, which makes putting a plate weight at the foot just a really easy deal. I typically like to set my monopod up at just about chest height for shooting a tour. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get uh, the camera on the monopod and then I'll do a quick walk around the house, make sure everything's turned on, make sure there's nothing that really out of place. Right now that I have the monopod set up, I will come through and turn on some lights. Some lights on here in the garage. <clears throat> Typically, I would shoot the shop as well on a shoot like this, uh, but right now the builder is storing some building supplies for a couple other homes in there, so the shop is actually completely full. So I will not be shooting the shop today. Otherwise, I'd go in there and turn on the lights in the shop as well. I think that's about all I need to do in here. So we'll take the cover off of my camera. And for this tour, I might actually start out at the curbside. So turn the camera on. Let me get out my, my phone and connect to the camera. I should probably turn on some screen recording too. So trying to connect to my other phone. Let me turn Wi-Fi off on 
this phone just to make sure. And when all else fails, turn off the camera and try it again. I was in client mode on the on the Rico. That's the reason why I wasn't showing up in uh, on my iPhone. <clears throat> so now that I'm connected to the Theta, I forgot that I had it in client mode because I was uh, checking out a a plugin. Now I will go into. Rico Tours. I'm going to do a new tour. I'm just going to call this Model Home. Done. Rico Theta. Sure. Allow. And for this tour, I'm going to actually start out at the curbside. is a little chilly today. So I place my camera and then hide from the camera. You gotta kind of watch the distance. I'm gonna call this one curbside. I will tuck around the corner, snap a photo, and go inside where it's much warmer. I will call this one front. Porch. So here, if I come in just a little bit further into this entry, that'll give me connection points to the side hallway, the living room, and this front office. So I'm going to tuck around a corner. Call this entry.
and next photo. So now I'm going to place it in this front office here. Step around the corner. Office. From the office, I'm going to go ahead and grab this bedroom wing. So I will place the camera in this hallway. And I'm actually going to get two in this hallway, even though it's a little small, because that will also give me a direct line of sight for this bathroom here. Do this front bedroom. So, bedroom add next. And then I have the second hallway shot, which gives me access to the back bedroom and then this uh, bathroom as well. So there's a mirror here. So if I set it just past this vanity here, that'll get uh, the camera out of the shot so that you don't see the camera in the mirror. So this was a hallway again, add next, so I'll step around the corner. And now I'll move it into that back bedroom. was a bathroom next photo tuck out of sight snap a photo so there was some sort of error on that one so I'm just going to try that photo again And this is a bedroom again. Add next. So now I am going to grab one in this living room. And I know there is a mirror here. Um, I'm not so worried about this mirror because I'd much rather have uh, the camera more centered in this room than worrying about the mirror. So I will step around the corner. And this is a living room. Yeah, next. So I'm going to grab one in the kind of the center of this island here as well that kind of gives a, a nice sense of this room a little bit of hide and seek so, so from here i'm going to grab one here at the patio door which will give me a nice connection point to get to the exterior on the back I'm going to go Kitchen Island, next photo. And 
And we'll call this the patio door. And then we'll grab one here at the dining room. Step around the corner. From the dining room, I'll grab one in the middle of the kitchen. And then I'm going to do a hallway, a wet bar, and another hallway, which will show me the pantry and then show me into the master suite. And then this hallway that I'm shooting right now will also give us direct access into the laundry room. So I'm gonna tuck around the corner. Snap a photo. Position it here on the wet bar. And this was a hallway. Head next. Label this one wet bar. Then if I place the camera about right here, this lets me see into this pantry and then gives me a line of sight directly into the, the master bedroom. So I'll step out of the view of the camera. hallway and next photo so right about the center of the bed here Call that the master bedroom. And then we'll move into the master bathroom. I'm going to place it just between the two mirrors here. And then step out of the view of the camera. So now we have that. I'm going to shoot one more in this master bathroom, which kind of shows the water closet here and then into the, the walk-in closet. And now I'll capture one in the master closet. Call this the 
us a walk in closet. So now I'll grab one in the laundry room here. From the laundry room, we'll go right out into the garage. And in this garage, I will grab two panoramas, um, one showing just outside this door and then another one on this other side to where I have a door going out into the rear yard. So I'll hide behind this door. And then I'll move this over here to grab this other one, which gives me a nice line of sight with that other door. And once again, just tuck in. Call this garage. All right, n now we're done with the inside of the house. I'm going to grab a couple shots in the back. So get this nice covered rear patio. Tuck just out of the view. All right, I'll grab uh, one here in this back driveway. Typically I would grab uh, the side yard over here as well, but with the snow, I just don't want to trample through the snow. If this was a, a, a client job that I'd be on, I would actually trample through the snow to shoot that. Make sure I'm out of view of the camera. Call this back driveway. And then pretending like I'm going to shoot the shop, I'm going to shoot one here in front of the store, which will give me direct access inside to the shop here. And then I'm going to grab 
this secondary patio here. Step out of view. Patio and next. And then through this little gate right here. is the side yard and then that door to the garage. Snap a photo. Way. And then I'm going to follow my footprints from yesterday and get this side yard. Hide from the camera. side yard and I believe that is a wrap for this home so this house is about 1739 square feet uh, not including the shop so now the only thing that would be left is to upload these photos which I'll do when I get back to the house and uh, better internet and then shutting off all the lights and locking up the house let me close out of there and that's a wrap thanks for watching I hope this helps